Hey guys, this is Cameron with Motion Science, back with a cool tip for you for After Effects based on effects. This one has to do with the Video Copilot Saber effect. I get asked all the time how I created this smoky glow effect on the triangle from the original Motion Science logo that I created. Uh, it plays on uh, a few of the videos here on YouTube or the blog that you guys have probably seen. Um, and it's this blue glowing triangle. And more importantly, people ask how the atmospheric smoke that moves across the triangle was created. So I want to show you how I did that. Uh, it's using a free plugin called Saber from Video Copilot. And I'm sure most of you are big fans of Andrew Kramer, as am I. Uh, you go to a site, download the free plugin, and install it, and you can follow along with this tutorial. So in After Effects, all I've got here is just a simple black solid in my composition. I'm gonna go to Effect, Video Copilot, Saber. And boom, there's our Saber, a little full res here. So this plugin has a lot of uh, possibilities. I've used it on several projects. I love this plugin. Um, but specifically, I'm just gonna talk to you today about the distortion parameters. And under distortion, glow distortion is where I create the atmosphere that you're gonna see in here. So in my motion science logo, this was a triangle, which was a simple mask I created that this can follow. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that one. But uh, all we have to do is just go into distortion amount and start turning it up to something fairly subtle. I don't know, maybe in there. I'm actually gonna turn the res down to half so you can see this quicker. Um, but there's smoke, which I believe is what I use. There's also fluid and there's energy. And these are just using fractal noise uh, textures to create these effects. Um, there's also distortion or multiply. I like multiply that it's a little more subtle. Let me do a preview here. Actually, let me turn down this to something much smaller. So you can see the smoke is moving upwards, uh, set to multiply. This is distortion, which it's a much, much more harsh effect at this point, but it just depends on what your taste is and what you're trying to create. So I'll go back to multiply. I really like that. Um, the wind speed obviously adjusts how fast this moves. Uh, for what I did, I changed the wind direction, I believe to 90. So now it just goes, left to right. If I did negative 90, it'd go right to left. Um, something else that's really cool with this plugin is the noise scale. So currently it's set to 150. What's really cool is if you turn this all the way down to one, I like how it has this kind of almost analog digital interface effect going on. It just looks very lo-fi. Uh, and really cool, almost like maybe uh, Stranger Things, something like that. It's just it's just a very cool um, look to it, especially if I go up to full res here. That's essentially it. You can also play with all these different uh, noise complexities. You can turn it lower or higher, uh, the scale, the speed, the uh, if I go back up to the scale here. I think we were at 150. If I go up much higher, it's a much softer kind of smoke effect going on here. Uh, but that's it. It's real simple. Uh, like I said, a lot of people have asked how I created this. And there you go. It's a simple free plugin called Saber by, by Video Copilot. Uh, if you dive into the settings on any plugin, typically, if you really dive into the settings, you're going to find a lot more uh, uses to the plugin that than what most people uh, typically realize on the surface what a plugin is capable of doing. So, uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, 
comment below. And until next time, I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science.